La isla realmente tiene como tres partes, ¿no? Este golfo. Javier Morales loves his home, El Hierro, a tiny island in the middle of the Atlantic. It's the smallest of the Canary Islands, a natural paradise that's managed to escape the mass tourism and building boom of its neighbours. He's both an island councillor and a passionate environmentalist. His credo is sustainable development. Especially on such a small island, it's vital for us residents to have very little impact, or if possible, even a positive impact on the environment. So when we talk about sustainable development, that also means improving living conditions. But this is one part that doesn't fit with that ecological concept, a diesel power station. It generates all the island's electricity. Fuel has to be brought to the island by ship. This dependence on oil and its carbon footprint have bothered Javier Morales for a long time. Each year the complex pumps about 20,000 tonnes of CO2 in the air. It's just a short walk from the power station to the island's future energy provider. Bulldozers have begun laying the groundwork for a new green energy concept, put forward by Javier Morales. Many dismissed his ideas as unworkable. For years he fought to get subsidies from the Spanish government in Madrid and the European Union. But now his dream of green energy for the entire island is becoming a reality. The project consists of a wind farm with five wind turbines, each of which has an output of about two megawatts, making a total output of more than 10 megawatts. Wind energy, which is subject to fluctuations, will also be used to pump desalinated seawater 700 meters up to a huge reservoir. Afterwards, the water will flow through pipes into the second, lower reservoir, during which turbines will again generate electricity. Wind and hydropower combined will cover all the island's energy requirements. It's a huge project for a small island with just 11,000 residents. Until the early 1970s, there was only limited power in the island's villages. Older people remember those days well. At first, we only had electricity from sunset till 11 at night, two or three hours at the most. Then it was shut off. During the day, there was no electricity for a fridge or anything else. Now El Hierro is becoming a pioneer in renewable energy. This crater from an extinct volcano is being prepared as a reservoir. The cost for the entire project is about 65 million euros. The operating company, Corona del Viento, is confident the project is viable in the long term. And not just because of the two million euros in diesel costs that will be saved annually. In future, residents will be paying their electricity bills to the island's local government, which owns a 70% stake in the new green energy provider. Electricity payments, which until now have gone exclusively to a private company, will be available to the island administration in the future. That means they can be reinvested, so the residents can profit. Right now, work is concentrated mainly on the hydroelectric plant. Cristina Morales takes us to one of the many construction sites. The project's engineers are using pioneering technology. The elaborate combination of wind and hydro energy is unique in the world.
What's innovative is the idea of converting electricity from wind power to hydropower. The upper reservoir is like a battery that stores energy in the form of hydroelectricity. For it to work, two three-kilometer-long pipes will be built into the mountainside. One to pump the water up and one to release it downwards. The island's extremely steep slopes were a key condition for the project. The principle can also be applied to other places in the world. That's why public relations are so important to us, so that other regions with similar features, high wind energy potential and steep slopes, can copy our project. It's an ambitious plan. 100% environmentally friendly energy. But even when the diesel power station is closed next year, the island's residents will still be dependent on fossil fuels. The cars on El Hierro need petrol. And that's the next target for the island's top environmentalist. Javier Morales is now working on a new concept for electric cars only on El Hierro in future. That will bring him closer to achieving his aim of making the tiny island the world's greenest. <laughs>